Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And this is uh, not a mall haul. And if you'd like to see what I got at the mall today, please keep on watching. So today I had to go to the mall um, to kill some time because I was waiting on a friend. And it so eventually happened that after I did pick up my friend, I ended up going back to the mall because I got some goodies. And sh she wanted to get it. So the first place I stopped was at Pennywise to pick up um, really and truly just some disposable razors and as you can see my face is breaking out I have been really stressed out lately and I just realized that every time I get stressed my face breaks out so yeah I'm trying to deal with it and I know I have puffy eyes because that's from lack of sleep and all that drama so excuse the stress look all right what I got up anyways I picked up these flexible rods they have two sides and these are $6.95 for six. Um they, what do you call it? The 11, 16 and 9, 16. Those are the two sizes. And that's the other size. No, I actually had these a while back. Um I say a while back, like maybe six, seven years. And I really didn't um find that I could have take the time to really roll it in my hair because I'm really super lazy with my hair and I just kind of threw them out and then I realized that curling my hair or if I do flat iron it um that was more tedious so I actually picked up these now to actually try, try them back and see if I can use them if they'll work to give my hair some body um so these were $16.95 a pack and I picked up two I figured these would be good for the back and of course I'll use these for the front so I also picked up while I was there these um powder puffs and I picked up this large one in um for $16.95 and it's a pretty good size and then a medium size one I paid $5.95 so that's the two sizes they're a dollar difference but that's what they look apart so one is just a little bit bigger than the other but I use these for setting my foundation because I use I use liquid foundation I actually picked up two in the small one and one in the large one um, I and I use them like for about a week I'm not sure if that's sanitary but I use them one per week so I put on my foundation and what I do to set it is that I put my rice powder inside and what I'm using right now is not a holneristic um, rice powder but I'm using the one from Palladio because I've had that coming close to three years so I'm trying to finish it up and then I'll go back to my Hyaluronic rice powder so I'll put my um, dip it into my rice powder then I'll pat it onto my face and then I'll take my powder brush and then dust off um, the excess powder and I find it sets my foundation really really well and since I'm using this technique I realize that my foundation is lasting um, a lot longer my face is staying uh, more matte or it's a bit more mattified um, I learned and I saw this technique um, from Goss Makeup Artist and if you guys haven't checked his channel when um, I think I'll be able to upload this video but after I upload it I will try and edit it and put his makeup channel below so I got those I also picked up rubbing alcohol because I do use this to sanitize my makeup and I put it in a spray bottle and at least every two weeks I try to spray out um, like say blushes and eyeshadow palettes those kind of stuff I also pick up this glycerin it was just cheap it was like $2.95 and the reason I picked up this is that I use this for a homemade um, mixing medium where I use this with um, one part of this, three part water, and then I use it to foil my eyeshadows. So I've been using it for that, and it's also very good um, to, um, where is it, like if you have any blisters. So I have been having really bad dry lips, so I, somebody, um, told me I can try this also and just put it on my lips so I want to try this overnight also and then actually I've been using that a lot for my kids they have dry lips and my son has been using this it was actually I think my mom who told them that 
And so since he saw that my lips were cracked up, he was like, Mommy, I have to go and buy glycerin for your lips. Yeah, so advice from my 10-year-old son on how to keep my lips soft and moist, glycerin. And while I was there, I picked up this Milani press powder and it was $20. I've never seen Milani at Pennywise. Is it just me? Or is it a Milani section that I don't know about, people? Please leave a comment below and tell me. It's Milani at Pennywise. But anyhow, I saw this. I was at the one at Trin City today. And I saw this. And I asked a girl out of curiosity to really see it. Because I've never seen this before in my life. And it was in true beige. And when I opened the color, this is what the color is. Because you can actually see the color. So it's like a pinkish, kind of pink undertone beige color and this is almost I think like exact to my mother's um, skin color so I actually picked this up for her I really truly hope she uses it because she doesn't really wear makeup that much but um this is the color that she usually use so I'll have to and she has her own favorite brand that she's been buying for years so I'll have to go cut let her no Milani's a good brand and convince her to use that this and that this but yeah, so they had others, I think, um, I, they had other compacts, but I just saw the True Beige as a second option, and while the girl was showing me, and I said, ah, that looks like my mommy's color, and, um, so I just picked it up for my mommy, so mommy haul. And last thing I got was this Minora Super Stainless, um, I usually, I used to wax my eyebrows, but... I have been shaving it for the past year and I've been trying to grow it up because I had a little mishap the last time I shaved it. So I bought it so I can shave my eyebrows and a very close person to me actually does the shaving of my eyebrows. Yeah. So after I left Pennywise, or before I even went to Pennywise, I went to Yeah wonderful world now if you follow me on twitter you would have seen that i posted that i did go to wonderful world and they teased about you know if a haul was coming up etc i even messaged super makeup addicted and, and was like i'm at your favorite place so i went to wonderful world did not pick up makeup um but i did pick up some more hair accessories i think i'm gonna i can buy makeup so i'm buying hair accessories okay anyhow i can live with that because i don't really have lots of stuff for my hair Anyhow, I picked up this super cute um, headband. Since I've been having my hair down a lot, I thought I would just maybe try headbands. I can wear bandos. Do they still call them bandos? You know the, the thing that comes across? Yeah, those. I'm not even sure if they call them bandos. Because I know growing up we call it bandos. But anyhow. So I pick up the headbands because I can't usually wear, use the other thin ones because I get headache. Anything that rests on my side of my head, it will... Is disastrous I get a headache feel like I was I'm gonna pass out all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna try these um, so I picked up this and this was $15 and it's from the naturals brand so I'll try this I picked up this other headband so today was headband day pick up this other one is $15 and it has this kind of little lace thing and this black flower don't you like the idea of black flowers that is in real life but I thought this would go with like a black outfit will be pretty universal <sighs> and I had to pick up a red of course so yeah and pre that's pretty much was my wonderful world haul and just before I head out to the mall I did pass in shoe locker because I was taking a friend there and I took her there to check her shoes that I had bought she wanted to check for the pumps and I got saw these on sale for these are black pumps with a thicker heel, which I am really glad for. So I can really wear these to work and don't have to worry about falling down or breaking my skin. So yeah, um, so I picked up those and they were, okay, I don't have this in on the receipt, but they were like $60 or $62. So pretty reasonable, you know. Hopefully it'll work. I'll actually leave those in my office so that when I have to walk around, I'll just put them on to walk around and then take them back off. So there, that's my haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you can go ahead and do so. It's sweets are 
um, V, and thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.